Is this the peak? Will I ever get a better bail than this? Oh, never mind, I lied. Holy, you are lying. I am on this whatnot show that is being hosted by Faded and Jam. They just broke 100K in a single whatnot stream. Of that $100,000, I have spent $21,000. And I still have more things I wanna buy. <laughs> oh, fuck. I still have to get product photos for the personal live on December 7th. I just checked the tracking and it says delivery attempted, but they are lying. They did not attempt a delivery. I've been by my phone all day. Please tell me a little more about why you're calling. You guys are liars. No one attempted to deliver my package and I need to talk to a customer service representative because you guys are lying. You tried to deliver that package on Thursday. No, you didn't. No, no you didn't. I didn't catch that. Customer service, please. Yes, hey, Kara, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Uh, not doing so good. <laughs> This right here is the $15,000 bail. Speaking of this $15,000 bail, I want to do a little giveaway. I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten on WhatNot over the last couple months. What I decided to do was for the people who support what I do and support me on WhatNot, I'm gonna give away two vintage tees from this bail. For the first random vintage tee giveaway, all you have to do is follow me on WhatNot, Thriftro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. If you do not have WhatNot, you can click that top link in the description. It is completely free to download, and if you use that link, you will get $15 off your first purchase but you do not have to purchase anything all you have to do is follow me let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece from this bail is and then leave your whatnot username so that way I am able to verify that you follow me on whatnot and I have a way to contact you because I will be contacting the winner via whatnot for the second vintage tea giveaway I am going to be doing a personal live sale tomorrow I will be selling a lot of vintage pieces for my personal collection they will all be auctioned off at one dollar but at the very start of that stream I will be doing a giveaway on whatnot for another other vintage tea from this bale. Oh, and if you happen to be wondering about this bale or this bale, those were $1,850 for 100 pounds of clothes. Of course, first we gotta flex for the gram. So I've seen 50 of the shirts, and I know that there are 250 shirts total. Oh, I can see shirts right there, so I definitely wanna be careful. All right, now that was the easy part. Bands and make cut dance. First, we will just try the classic butter knife. Maybe these will work? These are like actual like school scissors, but. Yeah! If you guys are watching this right now, it is absolutely imperative that you guys follow me on whatnot. Not only do I have my personal live coming up, the other two bails that you guys witnessed, my plan is to do a bail break on whatnot. Hopefully at the time this video gets released, those shows are scheduled. The dates for those shows are tentative. Also this month we have a bunch of big streams planned. So make sure you follow me on whatnot if you do have whatnot downloaded. Thrift row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. If you do not have whatnot downloaded, make sure you use that top link in the description. But the very first thing, a silver tag, center check, creme de la creme Nike hoodie. Piece number two, Metallica puss head. Piece number three, ooh, white tag center check in the gym bulge colorway. For those of you guys that don't know what that is, that's because gray sweats make your pee pay look bigger. This Coogee? Yes, sir, Coogee. Did see one center check in the preview? I did not realize I was getting two, and holy, MC Escher crew neck, that is insane. Stone Cold's gym, never seen this shirt. 80s Top Gun, wow, that is a good Star Wars. Liquid blue, Star Wars AOP. Oh, that is insane, beware of the stinger. The most motivational traps in the game. All right, 10 pieces, only 240 more to go. Single stitch, you got Batman and Mr. Freeze on the front of it. This Batman will definitely get ran in next week's stream with all like the Marvel comic slash anime stuff. Basically this whole bail will get sold on whatnot over the next couple months. We have Air Jordan 23 on the gray 90s and Nike tag, front and back. <laughs> That back is insane. Another Stone Cold tee. Oh, the Raven. Wow. 101 Dalmatians. This does need a little bit of a oxy right there. Clean and jerk. Other side jackass, Stone Cold wrestling tee. Long sleeve, raw deal, backlash. This Taz is freaking insane. Dude love. That is probably one of the coolest wrestling tees I've seen. Another wrestling tee. Harley Davidson breaking loose. Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote AOP. You're not dreaming he's back. Nightmare on Elm Street movie promo long sleeve. I have never seen this. Dragon Ball Z Gohan. Dude, what the f 
single stitch Star Wars tee. Good Betty Boo front and back. This is already insane and we're not even a tenth of the way through. Dragon Ball Z, 2000 dated. The Lion King, wrestling racing tee, that's crazy. With the Mac tools on the front. Another Stone Cold tee. Circle of Life, Lion King. The Incredible Hulk, video game promo. Hey, I actually have this tee upstairs. Which is funny, because I rarely ever see this tee. 1998, I believe in Mr. Hanky. South Park tee, that is so funny. Nickelodeon, Wild and Crazy Kids promo. Another Betty Boop with the back hit. Little Alice in Wonderland. Single stitch, this thing is nuts. Woven on Dazia. Brett the Hitman Heart crew neck. Space Jam, that's all folks hit on the back. I remember a long time ago, I found a super faded out version of this. George of the Jungle, single stitch. I did not know this was a tee. I've literally never even seen this tee. That's insane. There are so many tees in this bale that I've just never seen. Just hitting so many different categories. Incredible Hulk roller coaster promo. Never seen that. Ooh, I have seen this actually. Star Trek tee, good Star Wars. Action comics, you got the Trinidad boxing rap tea. I feel like I'm like becoming numb to it. Like there's just so much Mighty Mouse. 90s white tag liquid blue bug tea. Another wrestling tea. Damn. They have a couple of these for different ones. I've seen the Stone Cold Steve Austin one. I have not seen the one for The Rock. Ren and Stimpy does need a little oxy right there. WrestleMania tea. The most legendary traps and the craziest facial expressions returns. My man Goldberg looking like he busting the craziest nut. Tweety Shadow. Oh, my boy Yoda! Yoda, it is on the shirt! Because Stone Cold said so, and that's the bottom line. Another Goldberg. After unfolding all these Goldberg tees, I just want to do some shoulder shrugs. Dreamer ECW. I might honestly just do like a whole wrestling stream on whatnot. Whoa! That is good. So insane. Another wrestling crew neck. Stone Cold. Grey Tag 90s. Just do it all embroidered on the back. That is... <laughs> I don't know what shirt we're on. I'm gonna try to put the number on the screen as I show each one. But yeah, I don't think anyone is going to top this bail. Jam, faded, I love you both. Betty Boop crew neck. It'll be too late for the people watching, but I think I'm gonna do like a random pop-up live on whatnot once I'm done filming this and just show some of the pieces. But another Stone Cold, another wrestling tee. There is a little bit of damage down there. Stone Cold Miller light tee. Oh, the Roger Rabbit. This is an insane. Tweety T. I hate Tweety though because whenever I run Tweety stuff on my whatnot, it gets massively disrespected. Vintage Space Ghost tee. Oh shit, this is a really good shirt. It does need a little bit of an oxy, but of course, Space Jam with the back hit. Insane Grateful Dead. Holy. Pink Floyd Division Bell. Ooh, yes. Oh, I love the Metallica Puss Heads. Oh my goodness, with the Puss Head graphic. Here we go, this must be like the band tee section. Nine Inch Nails, Now I'm Nothing. Alicia Keys, a Scorpions I've never seen before. A tee that I love, Corn Follow the Leader, one of my favorite albums from back in the day, even though I will say, people who are fans of corn sleep on Take a Look in the Mirror. This is one of the ones I saw in the preview and I thought this was so sick. I did not even realize this was a Paul McCartney tee. Arguably the coolest Paul McCartney tee I've ever seen in my entire life. Pink Floyd, good corn, insane Grateful Dead, cheap trick, another insane Grateful Dead on a Fruit of the Loom. Insane, 101 Dalmatians. Little Nike Looney Tunes. Nice, Dolly the Early Years, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The little Dolly signature right there. Start my art tea pile. Star Wars Emperor Strikes Back. I've almost given up on the piles and the count. Saturday Night Live, it's Pat. Oh sh this is a good tee. What's crazy is I have this in like a true black. I guess this tee uh, sold on YSL's website for like $800 or something. Oh shit. Jawbreaker with the, oh, this is a piece. Look at that. Oh, how I wish this thing was smaller. I would actually keep this. Holy, this is a piece. Wayne's World. Oh, Magic the Gathering. It's getting so good. You guys know how I love Magic the Gathering with the big hit on the back. On a nice man tag? What the? F this shit's really heating up, dude. Oh my god, I need to get through this shit ASAP. Insane Grateful Dead, once again. I don't give a fuck about Grateful Dead. Oh, never mind, I lied. LL Rain, one of the best Grateful Deads in an insane size. This is such a crazy Grateful Dead. How is this in here? Some of those wrestling tees, I'm like, okay, I can break even, I can break even. I don't really care. I like running stuff, even if I break even, because I bring people to the stream, people get some good deals, but like, I did not expect this. Oh, wow. Yeah, another Metallica. Oh, that's crazy. It's almost like I doubled up. Marvin the Martian. Big hit. Probably gonna run this on Annie's stream. Marilyn Monroe, an absolute legend and goddess with the admin. This feels like newer, but it's not. Single Stitch? USA made what the? 1995 copyright? Dude, I'm like 
flabbergasted right now. Van Halen, ridiculous. Like this is actually insane. It feels good, but at the same time it feels sad because it's like, is this the peak? Will I ever get a better bail than this? Okay, Pink Floyd, Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan, one of the good Rush Tees, Counterparts. Oh, yeah, no big deal. Just insane Led Zeppelin. Rage Against the Machine with the Rage hit, Gorilla Radio. Garfield, front and back. Mighty Ducks, dinosaur character I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's from Flintstones, right? Uh, wow. That's a pretty easy name. I should probably know his name if he's a dinosaur and his name is Dino. Oh yeah, this will probably get ran in next week's stream. Mario shooting a freaking fireball. Kamehameha. Yum! Nice little apple tea. Bro, this is the hardest tech tea I've ever seen in my life. Lord of the Rings. The Return of the King with the back hit. My precious. I have a flight tomorrow and I am so glad I did not wait to open this thing. Star Wars, AOP, Go For Broke with the insane Wile E. Coyote back hit. Another Looney Tunes, Michael Jordan, Nike T, Invader Zim T, Detective Comics T. Oh yeah, just a freaking Pez Dispenser ringer. What the? The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Dragon Ball GT with the back hit. Betty Boop with the back hit. Tin Man with the back hit. If I only had a uh, heart, is that what it is? Yeah, heart. Dragon Ball Z, Bart Sanchez, Insane Looney Tunes, Harley with the back hit, of course. Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. That tea is nuts. Love Sex, nice little Taz tea. It's a Space Jam Taz, by the way. Oh, wow. Let me just double up on this Metallica Puss head again. Insane Star Wars, Tekken 3, The Shadow Nose. I've never seen this tea. I have no idea what that is. Wow, that is an insane Looney Tunes piece. Looney Tunes, I think it's called like the Fantasia or something. If you look like the galaxy hit, goes onto the sleeve. Alice in Wonderland, absolutely insane Disney. Oh yeah, let me just double up on the Marvin the Martian again. What are the like the little Looney Tunes called? Like the baby Looney Tunes? This one I actually saw, I knew this one was coming. Curious George on an old 90s USA made Delta. It just gets crazier and crazier. I need to put a hat on. <sighs> Space Jam. I dream of Genie. I did not know they even had teas of this. Dr. Seuss, but like the color is like stripped or something. You see how it's like pink? Another wrestling tee. Fred Flintstone, front and back. Star Trek, front and back. Harley Davidson, red and black. Attack wrestling tee. Another Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. American Thunder, Dopey. C Spots, Run, Damn. 101 Dalmatians. Another Mighty Mouse. Vinnie Paul's personal Pantera. That's a huge Pantera hit. Single Stitch. Kermit Late Show, Total Chaos. Harley Davidson, Pink Floyd. Absolute classic. The Robert Cray Band. I actually don't know anything about this tee, but cool. Fleetwood Mac Long, you're lying, holy fuck. Fleetwood Mac long sleeve is so insane. Gloria Estevan, amazing Grateful Dead. I'm gonna have so much heat running on whatnot for like the next two years. Kiss, 98.7, that's such a sick front hit. Why does it look like he's smoking a blunt? Rolling Stones, Goldberg, after this Freaking video, I'm probably gonna have traps like Goldberg from raising all these shirts up. K-Dog, wrestling tee, never seen that. Goldberg again, with more insane nut-busting faces. Universal's Halloween Horror Nights 2007, with this insane Freddy hit on the front. Goldberg, do unto others, Stone Cold Steve Austin, with the back hit. Stone Cold University, ECW, wrestling tee. Rey Mysterio, Buckwheat, what the f- I have never seen this, that's so sick. Namco on the front, but check out the game. Kill Switch Engage, this game was was so sick. Yo, what? Damn, this Escher is crazy. Is that Escher on the front? Single stitch, the Escher back hit. Insane Taz, mountain bike tee. Cartoon looks familiar, but I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Beautiful Mr. Potato Head, the perfect man. I actually have one of these shirts here. It's a really good shirt. Tori Amos, beat the match in power computing Mac. These are the sickest tech tees I have ever seen. Once again, an absolute insane Grateful Dead. Break them, little Looney Tunes pool tee. Animaniacs, Batman and Joker. Ooh, Namco, what game? Soul Calibur 2. Ooh, with my shorty. Look at them tig old bitties on the back. Wolverine. Hot Wheel Racing with the freaking wraparound print and the rib hit. That is nuts. Insane MC Escher on a soft tee. God damn. Brutus. I don't know who that is, but MG and Graham. Freaking Garfield Shadow. The Munsters on a freaking Fruit of the Loom. Detroit Red Wings. Taz. Alice in Wonderland. Dinosaurs. The Clash. Batman Comics tee. Holy. You are lying. Mace Rack. Rap tea? Yo, that is nuts. Harlem World back hit. What in the f 
spot. Skid Row, the clan of the cave bear. Back to the insane traps. Ooh, I see some fancies. Beautifully faded. It's also like an 80, yeah, 83 Def Leppard. Metallica, Pusshead, Elmo. You guys remember the Tickle Me Elmo? That was probably one of the most technologically advanced toys of its time, even though I just had like a vibrator in it, basically. Star Wars with Darth Vader on the front. Valhalla, world tour. It's a nice little comic tee with the freaking Dale back hit. Riddler, another Nike hoodie, white tag, 90s. Forest Green, that thing is amazing. This is one that I did see, the Harley Davidson Galaxy. I knew this was in here because I saw this in the preview. Ooh, this is a good one. The Bad Bob tees are super sick. I actually had one similar. It was the Elvis tee I posted on my Instagram, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that. It'll be right here, Thrift Row. You know, you just go follow it on Instagram, stay up to date with all the drops. Also, while you're following me on Instagram, follow me on whatnot, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. It's spelled exactly the same. Cat in the hat. Dr. Seuss, one of my favorite Taz tees, where he gets abducted and then rejected. That actually used to be my personal collection. Then we have the AOP Jurassic Park. What in the actual fuck? This is getting so crazy. Oh my God, you're lying. Star Wars with the back hit, nuts. And speaking of nuts, that is what I'm busting like 47 million times. Betty Boop. I went from having like three Betty Boops to having one of the craziest Betty Boop collections in Washington. Okay, all I saw was this and this, this was looking kind of freaky, but it's a Winnie the Pooh breakthrough. Wow, good Grateful Dead. Look at this suave player ready to steal your bitch. Daffy Duck Shadow. 80s Terminator movie tee. I'll be back. You will be back on whatnot. <laughs> That's where you will be back to. Legends of the Fall. Look at mommy. Is that Brad? Is that my boy Bradley? Ren and Stimpy, AOP. Taz. Betty Boop. Uh. Oh, it's a Betty Boop Buffy the Vampire Slayer flip. That's what that font is. It kind of took me a second to realize that was from Buffy. Oh, okay, yeah. Insane Picasso, by the way. I actually have the AOP version of the shirt as well. Add this to my Betty Boop collection. I am now am a Betty Boop collector. Yay, more Betty Boops for my Betty Boop collection. Batman and Joker. Staffers at Smoke and Coke break. I still don't in- This is insane. This is the type of tea that I literally collect, so you guys will probably never see this. Single Stitch, what the f- You have Hillary and Bill. He says, I still don't inhale and then he's got like a little Humboldt blunt right there got Humboldt rolled up in the pack Space Jam Taz T which I thought was a Space Jam for a second once again insane Taz oh yes sir nice little Mac what the with the fingerprints on the back you got the minority report future telling back hit single stitch I guess this is a movie promo howling 3 I've never seen that movie the ninth wonder of the world China. 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 Jay and Silent Bob. Insane Star Wars. Single Stitch. That's crazy. Marvin the Martian. Generation X. All right. That should be all of it. Is that 250? Loki smashed through the last part. Another Pink Floyd. Another Generation X with the back hit. Giant wrestling tee with the back hit. Classic Marlboro Adventure Time with the rattlesnake on the back. Dragon Ball Z. Those all need to get washed ASAP because those will probably be in the whatnot on December 14th, I think. Looney Tunes Shadow with the whole crew. Sting vs. Hogan. Raw as we want to be with the little rib hit right here another insane 101 dalmatians this is crazy dude aop another crazy flintstones front and back oh wow dude i forgot about this guy I barely ever see wrestling tees for him survivor series wwf this is your brain what's the back say this is your brain on 3d that's tight you got the brain fractal with the 3d effects hit on the sleeve but that front hit is fire dragon ball z red and black nw you up, pinky in the brain, black, white tag, center check. That is nuts. I might actually keep that if it fits. And another center check. What the hell is this? New with tags, Harley Davidson crew neck. I've never seen this. Three Stooges. I don't know which character that is, but damn. Wow, that was insane. I think that was 250. I mean, shit, we got piles of clothes everywhere. But yeah, I uh, definitely need to clean. This is... Insane. My apartment actually is starting to look like a rag house. Jam, if you guys need to open up a second location, I guess we can just make my apartment your guys' second location. There's been two main questions that I've gotten almost every day since I purchased these bales. The first question is, did it come? That was so painful because every day I'm just like, I wish. But you guys already know it came. Obviously you guys are watching the video. The second question that I've gotten more than anything 
and most of this was after it came is was it worth it? Was it worth the $15,000? Originally it was advertised as 250 shirts. It ended up being 256 shirts. And like I said earlier, I'm giving away two of those shirts because I'm gonna give away one to a person who follows me on whatnot, Terfro, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, and then comments their favorite shirt and then leaves their whatnot username so that way I can contact them. So there will be that giveaway and then also me giving away one at the beginning of tomorrow's whatnot stream. And the comment winner will be picked probably in the next video. But 254 shirts divided by $15,200 brings my total cost to $59.85. And really it would be even less than that if I wasn't giving away two shirts. And I definitely think it was worth it. There are definitely some shirts that will probably sell for less than that amount, but there are so many shirts that are worth several hundred dollars. This whole stack is Taz. This whole stack right here is wrestling. I'm trying to reorganize it kind of by category. So this all the way down to like here is all banties. Underneath that we have a stack of Dragon Ball Z and a Jurassic Park AOP, which you guys saw. This right here all needs to be oxy, so there's probably like 30 T's. When I factor in the price, I kind of just assume that it won't come out. These Alice in Wonderland T's are Nuts. I used to want this tea back in the day. This is probably my favorite Alice in Wonderland. We're all mad. I'm mad. You are mad. What I would probably run the soonest are like some of these video game teas, like the Tekken 3, the Soul Calibur with this shorty who's got an amazing heart. Those will probably get ran alongside some of the Marvel pieces. Like for example, these two will definitely get ran in next week's stream. When I was editing, I realized that I didn't show this off good enough, but this is crazy. On an all sport, like absolutely Nuts, single stitch, dated 1993. But the reason I decided to do the giveaway in this video is because I'm actually genuinely curious what your guys' favorite pieces are. Oh yeah, some of these will also get ran in that stream, like this Batman, which is nuts, the Riddler, some of these comic tees. So go follow me on whatnot. Bookmark the personal live tomorrow. And if at the time you're watching this, it's too late, then go bookmark the Marvel live on December 14th. There are some tees that I, like more and that I plan on keeping, but some that I just plan on keeping for content. And that kind of brings me to my next point of whether or not it was worth it. I feel like a lot of people that watch me like vintage and then I also meet a lot of people on whatnot and just in person that started selling because of me, which I really like. I like meeting people who are selling that actually like this shit. Because on the flip side of that, I meet a lot of sellers who are trying to sell and they don't actually like it and I don't really see those people normally do that well. For me as a buyer, someone who actually likes this stuff, I'm able to think of what I like watching and then I just create that as a seller. Like I think of what makes me want to buy something. For me, when I was looking at the preview, I already decided that even if everything went exactly at cost and I broke even, I sold the whole bale and I only made $15,000, which will not happen. I, I will probably make a good amount of money on this bail. But if that did happen, it would still be worth it for me. The reason it'd be worth it for me is because I buy a lot of things that I will break even on. Sometimes I even buy stuff that I will lose money on just to bring people to the stream. And the reason I do that is because when I watch a whatnot stream, I might go for one piece, but I might buy a couple pieces along the way, or I bid on a couple pieces along the way. So the way I view whatnot is not like the price of one piece. I try to view the price as a whole. You might come into the stream because you want a crazy 101 Dalmatians or one of these Star Wars tees, but along the way you might see a cool video game tee or a cool Marvel tee or something else that resonates with you that you like. And you might see it start going for a super cheap price, so you bid because you want that particular piece. If you are a seller on whatnot, try not to get too caught up on the price per piece. Try to focus, one, on getting more followers to your stream and two, the overall price of everything. But yeah, for me, definitely worth it. One, I think it'll bring a lot of people to the whatnot, but two, I, I, I think I'll make a pretty good profit on this bail, especially since I got like six extra pieces and I already sold one of them for $300. But of course, I would like to go over some of the pieces that are my personal favorites. Like for example, this MC Escher Kronek, size extra large. It looks like it might be too big, but if this fits, it will probably not get sold. Like I said, some of the bangers you might have to wait to see because I do have to oxy them like this one. I just washed, but there's some light stains around the neck that I would like to attempt to get out. The nine inch nails, 
Now I'm nothing, just really good wear on that graphic. Obviously the Mace Wrap tee, which is absolutely insane. Harlem World on the back, dated 1997. This Rage Against the Machine long sleeve I've had several people hit me up for. I just realized this isn't even a long sleeve. This is just huge, God damn. That's a huge bitch. What size is this? It's like 3XL. This is the 3XL. I never see shirts like this that big. So if you like Rage and you can never find one in your size and you are a size 3XL, I have one. This Jawbreaker is probably one of my favorites, especially with the little Morton Salt logo right there. When it pains, it roars. A couple of my other personal favorites, of course, the Magic the Gathering with the center hit. What's funny is I'm actually getting rid of some personal Magic the Gathering tees. I used to play Magic the Gathering. I actually stopped playing around the release of Onslaught, and I was really sad to get rid of my Magic tees, but they just fit me way too long, so I never wear them, and I just figured I'd sell them to someone who might appreciate them more, because they're really dope. This one actually looks like it'll fit. It looks a little bit shorter. I'm Hoping it fits. It's also on a nice man size large. I love the nice man tag. Another one of my personal favorites, the Marilyn Monroe. I have a small collection of these. I swear I have like the coolest Marilyn Monroe tees. Shardy was a queen. The Escher with this insane back hit. Another really sick Escher that I have not seen before. The Dolly Signature. It's cool that I have a faded and non-faded version of this shirt. And then some of these are just shirts that I want to take pictures of with other shirts like the Red Wings, the Saturday Night Live, the Tin Man, if only I had a heart, like Shorty on the back of that Soul Calibur shirt. Anyways, I need to stop, all right? I, I will sit here and show off all 256 shirts a second time because there are just so many bangers. I have like a whole Star Wars collection, Space Jam collection, Betty Boop collection, Taz collection, Band Tee collection. Oh, and of course, a wrestling collection. So many pieces in this bail. It's pretty insane and it's a super wide range. Seeing something like that jawbreaker in this bale was just so random. Definitely quite a few pieces that I will not want to get rid of, but of course most of them will get sold on whatnot over the next couple weeks slash months. So make sure you follow me on there, Thrift Row, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W, top link in the description. Like I said before, tomorrow we are running the personal live. All auctions will start off at a dollar. We will be running about two to 300 pieces from my personal collection. And then the following week, we're doing a little Marvel live where I will be selling some Marvel Megas, some other Marvel, comic book tees as well as some anime and video game tees and of course on whatnot we currently have the bail breaks scheduled I might change the dates but I will definitely do a bail break that week and possibly two bail breaks that week so make sure you follow me on whatnot bookmark all the live streams and while you're at it bookmark the birthday stream which is like five months away. I got a lot of things I'm working on over the next couple months. Like I've said before, I'm excited, but I am nervous and anxious. I just have a lot that I want to get done. Oh, also we're figuring out a date for an upcoming little faded collaboration that I've been setting aside some pieces for. I got a lot of stuff coming up. So just make sure you follow me on Whatnot. Shout out Faded, shout out Jam. I appreciate both of you guys. While you're following Whatnots, follow both of them as well. Oh uh, man, I have clothes everywhere. I'm so excited for the next couple of months. Even though I'm nervous and anxious, I am so excited to make some space in my apartment. And the making of said space starts tomorrow. Top link in the description. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living the star life and I will see you guys probably next week. I, I'm just gonna say it one more time because it feels weird saying something before I say peace. But yeah, anyways, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living the star life. Peace. It's a family affair. My foe, my foe. It's a family affair.